So I had to come and look closer. Like she did her thing. I didn't even know that she had done that. She tucked them in a bag. fantastic people so i've been rocking my natural hair for maybe two days um two or three days and honestly i got tired of it like i really didn't know how to maintain a um wash and go for one i'll say that let me cut this off didn't know how to maintain a wash and go and i didn't want to get any single strain knots which i get a lot of or just having to worry about my hair being tangled, breakage, and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to go back to my low heat, no heat. And this will be the first view of it. I'm going to do low heat, no heat for 12 months. Um, I got my hair braided this morning. On, I have a half day today, so I had some time to do some things. Um, but I'm going to get my hair braided every three to four months. In between that time, I'm just going to go and get it um, washed, get a deep condition after I take out the braids. I'll I'm going to get a deep condition have it washed um, hydration treatment and just um, blow dry it on low heat and then let my scalp rest for a day and then get it braided back again the following day um, I'm only gonna wear be wearing protective style so either it'll be braids like this or it'll be a, um, a twist updo or a twist pin and something so that my ends are protected but yeah, so let me show you my hair. Um, let's come in a little bit. This is actually the most braids I've ever had done. And this was the cheapest, which I was really, really surprised at. But it's 13 braids. Most of the time I get 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. She did a really great job. Very, very neat job. And she actually even put them up into something for me. I don't know what she did. Let me turn around around fully. And as you can see how she tucked them in for me. I'm going to try to undo this so I can show you the length of the braids. But I'm really not sure how she did it. So I think she just... Um, this is one braid. Oh. So she didn't even... She actually braided it. Wow, she did it. So I can't even show you the length of my hair. So this is the only braid that's actually down. But yeah. That's actually the best way to do it. And I'm going to make sure she do this again. Like, I'm going to take a picture of this. So that way, because most of the time I come, they leave my ends out. So I'm super happy that she actually did this. Um, I'm going to have to take a picture of this. But yeah, this is my hair. Um, I'll try to insert a clip of how it was blow dried yesterday. And you, you also saw the video of me getting my hair cut to the the shorter length so i'll start i'll insert a picture there and if you haven't watched that video go back and watch that video so you can see the process of me going to the salon for the first time during covid I had grown like mid back length my hair was about right here and i cut it to somewhere in here um if you can see so yeah and that was all doing my low heat, no heat, six month challenge. Also using um, my oil that I make on my hair periodically during the week and just trying to stay away from it. So we're going to see how long my hair can grow. I'll do little clips every time I go get my hair washed so that you can see the progress. And then um, once the year's up, I will show you the final product or the final reveal of how long my hair has grown with low heat no heat just minimum maintenance and protective styling 
So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, remember to do that right now. Smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can get updates on whenever I upload a video, either on my hair journey, weight loss journey, or anything on my channel. And share this video so someone else can see what I'm doing and how I'm growing my hair out. So, all right. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.